What's up guys, today I wanted to go over a project that I've been working on called Brillybot. Brillybot is an easy to use speech to command API. What that means is that a user simply defines the possible commands that they want to be supported inside a JSON file and then either through a file upload or through a microphone, you send the audio over to the server and it will determine what command you intended through that speech. Since this is an API and all the heavy computation is done server side, this package can be run on most computers. Let's quickly go over how the API works and then we'll go over how to install it on your own computer. Here we have the Brillybot client installed of an Anaconda environment called Brillybot. The Brillybot client is a CLI as well as a Python package. So you can use it in the command line or you can import it and use it in your own Python programs. To show what I mean, please observe the following in the command line. I can type in brilli bot underscore client dash H, and we can see all of the different possible arguments to pass inside of the command line. Alternatively, as I said, it is also a Python package that you can use in other existing programs. And to demonstrate that you can import it, I'll go ahead and show that. So I'll do Python. And now once we have it installed, you would import it simply by typing in from Brillybot client dot Brillybot client import Brillybot client. And now this along with a config and you are good to go. So now that we've seen that we can run Brillybot through the CLI and as a normal Python package, let's go ahead and see why we want to run it. So to do that, let's first go into the actions folder where I have a couple examples of configurations that would be possible commands that one could configure to use with Brillybot. So going inside of actionflights.json, we have an example configuration of how you would use Brillybot. We have seven commands and each of those has a corresponding list of phrases that may be corresponding to those commands. So like you say computer go up or computer go down or computer stand still, things like that. It doesn't need to be exactly these things, but things along those lines, you know, things that convey those meanings, give a few examples and the API will handle the rest. So in order to show the Brillybot API interacting with that configuration I just showed, we have two different files. We have example file, which loads audio from a file, and then example mic, which will actually take the spoken utterance from a microphone and then process that. So the example underscore file loads audio zero and then sends that to the server to be processed. Let's just take a quick second to hear what it says. Computer go up. So it says computer go up and computer is the wake word, which is something that you need to define as well, but that's uh, trivial. So let's go ahead and run that example. To do that, we'll go to the examples folder and then run Python example file and it's done. And so here's the output. It detected that the command was up. We see the transcript from the audio and then we see the probabilities for all the different possible commands. And the highest one was up, and we can see the other ones that it was close to. So that's pretty cool, but if you were paying attention to the JSON configuration file, you probably noticed that one of the examples was go up. And while it was cool that I was able to figure out that's what we said, uh, this API would not be nearly as useful if it only worked on things that were directly in the examples. We want it to be a more generalized solution that will work for many of the possible sayings that we couldn't know. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to say something a little odd, but that a human would be able to understand. So we'll do Python and then example. We're going to do the mic so that we can say something custom. Computer, hit the deck. And there we go. It says computer hit the deck and the command it detected was down, which was correct. That's what, you know, that's what that means. And I think a human would understand that as well. And as we can see again for down, hit the deck was not in there at all. So 
it's learning the core meaning behind what these different phrases mean. There's another example of possible actions one can do. I did lights on, lights off, lights dim, lights bright, and it worked pretty well. And of course, given five minutes of your own time, you could make your own and test out the API. So now that we see why we'd want to use Burlybot, let's go down to the requirements and how to install. So the requirements are simply you have FFmpeg installed. That's the only thing that you need to install that is separate from uh, Python or pip package. If you don't have FFmpeg installed, go ahead and look for a video on YouTube, or if I have it done at the time, click the video in the banner now for a short video on how to install FFmpeg on Windows or Ubuntu. After installing FFmpeg, it's pretty simple. All you're going to want to do is install the package through copying this command here, pip install, and then the uh, git URL. And if you need to upgrade the package and you have issues with it keeping the cache, you can go ahead and run the same thing, but this time with the no cache end argument. So as the readme says, it is recommended to use a VM for installing Burlybot. I'm gonna use Conda. And let's go ahead and just walk through the one or two steps it takes to install Burlybot. So let's do Conda create dash n for the name of the environment. Let's call it Burlybot2 because I already have one created. And we're gonna want Python is equal to 3.9. And we're going to hit yes. And now the first part is done. So now we're going to want to go ahead and enter the environment. So to do that, we'll do conda activate Rilla bot two. And now we're inside of it. And now we're going to want to copy the install command, which is it right here. We'll do that. And then Control C, open this back up and paste it. And now it should install everything that's needed. And it's getting everything from cache right now since I already have some, it, some of the stuff in cache. So now it's installed and we're inside the environment. And so now it should be as simple as Rillabot client dash H. And we see that it's properly installed. So yeah, very simple to install. There are some known issues that you may run into. And uh, typically those involve issues with having a uh, port audio installed. So if you're on Ubuntu and you run into issues, you can go ahead and run these commands and it should solve your issues most of the time. Likewise on Windows, you can run these commands here. And if you still have issues, you can go ahead and open up a issue in the repo and I will take a look at it as soon as I can. Also, I want to mention that the API is currently rate limited to I believe uh, five requests for every five minutes. And after that, you'll have to wait again for it to be uh, refreshed. Uh, that's needed because uh, you know I only have so many uh, GPUs to uh, run at a time and it will be adjusted accordingly if if it's not an issue, I'll raise it up. And if it is an issue, I will lower it. And uh, if you want to run it unlimitedly, you can uh, reach out to me and we can work something out. So that's where I'm going to end today's video. If you like the video, please consider leaving a like. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing as I typically cover things of this area and other cool tech related topics. Consider joining the Discord for support as well as discussion on cool tech related topics. Thank you so much for watching and stay brilliant.